Yo, what's good guys? This is Link here. Welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Uh, my voice is still not perfect, I'm sorry. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this magma cube grinder right here. It's pretty simple. Didn't take me too long to build. Um, I'm going to be building this in a creative world to make it easier for me and yourself. Um, but yeah, this grinder makes me lots of magma cubes or magma creams as you can see. Um, in my last video, I'll link that down below. I had all four of these chests full of magma, cube, uh, magma cream and I sold it all. And I made a lot of money. Go check that video out. See how much money I made. Pretty, uh, pretty incredible. So, um, basically, I have three. I have six minions. On I have three on both sides. All of them are level six. So they are creating, um, or they are spawning in magma cubes. They are getting slowed down on the uh, soul sand, and then they are getting bigger, and then they're getting up to a hundred health. Some are just fifty. Um, and then they die here, the big ones, when they die, they, um, they spawn in a whole bunch of the smaller ones, and then they all drown, they die, their loot goes into the hoppers, and then from the hoppers, they go into the chest system that I have going on down here, and then I basically collect all the stuff, turn them into enchanted magma cubes, or magma creams, and then I upgrade these guys to level 7, that's the next level I'll be working on. So I'll be showing you guys how to create this grinder, pretty simple. Um, I'll see you guys over in the creative world. Alright, so in this tutorial, you will need wood, glass, hoppers, um, trapped, and regular chest, and some soul sand. And if you're wondering how many hoppers you need, you, you will need at least 45 hoppers to be exact. Um, so basically, I'm going to go ahead and build up quite a bit because in Skyblock, of course, there's nothing but sky. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start way up here. Basically, you you really don't have to use wood um, or or the glass. It's just easy to get in Skyblock, and it's pretty you know pretty simple. So what you're going to uh, want to do is you're going to want to build a 13 by 23 um, glass like uh, rectangle. So let's go ahead and go this way. Um, 13 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. And you're going to go this uh, way, 23 blocks. So let me do that real quick. All right, I went ahead and put this into the uh, default texture pack so you guys can see the glass better. So this is a 23 by 13 um, little like rectangle. So let's go ahead and go this way. Um, another, I don't know how many blocks. Um, so we can make a perfect uh, rect uh, rectangle out of this. Okay, so this is more of like your reference, how tall you want to make it. I would um, prefer to make it at least four or five blocks, so let's go ahead and go up about four or more. Two, if I can fly, uh, three, four. And so basically, let's go ahead and build this all the way up, all the way around this rectangle. Um, and then we'll get to the next step. Alrighty, so once you have filled all this in, basically, you're going to go ahead and make this double layered. You're going to make it double layered from the inside. Um, we do this so when the mobs or when the magma cubes spawn in from the minions uh, We do this so they don't glitch outside of the glass and then end up like falling into the void or somewhere on the, on your island So that's why all the way around this um, rectangle we want to fill this in a second layer um, So they don't glitch out. Alright, so once you have made this double layer You're going to go ahead and go to one of the sides and you're going to do something like this um, I get two right there. I'm gonna make it two right above, just so they don't glitch out uh, like that. And then um, like that. Um, if that makes any sense. And then you want to go ahead and get your soul sand and place it along here like so. All right. So once we have that, um, I'm probably going to have to extend this um, another um, layer or two, but let's go and do it this far. And then let's go and do the same thing on the other side. So let's do this real quickly. Same exact thing from the other side onto this side. Um, something like this, okay. And then add in your soul sand. 
uh, like like I said, we add in the soul sand, so when the magma cubes spawn in, they will get slowed down on the soul sand, uh, making them get larger, so uh, we get more magma cream. Okay, so I'm not too sure this is actually even, so uh, you, you can change this. This is you don't have to make this exactly the way I do. There's multiple different ways of doing this, but um, you're definitely gonna want to do something like this with soul sand, so they get slowed down. And they get bigger and bigger, and then when they drop into the hole, they will have our water in, they will drown, get smaller, and then all their stuff will go into hoppers in the chest. So, um, after this, let's go and move on into our next step. Alrighty, so what we want to do is we want to go down to one of these corners, and we're going to go down about uh, five blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then, basically, let's go down to this one. And we're basically creating a box right now um, so let's do this for all both sides connect them and then now what we want to do is we want to keep this down here empty uh, for now let's go and create the walls I uh, want to create the walls along the side with the glass uh, leaving some room for a double layered so they don't glitch out um, like some, some, some like this and um, just keep on doing this all the way around uh, basically just creating a um, small box here and then we'll do a double layer like I said so they don't glitch out uh, so let's go put this in real quick and I'll uh, be right back alright so we have our little box here going down about five blocks and now you want to go outside the box and make it double layered all the way around so they don't glitch out so we're going to make it double layered all the way down all the way around Alright, so we made this double layered all the way around, like as you can see. And basically, you're gonna want to go ahead, um, go ahead and make the floor. So we put hoppers on top. So let's go and fill this in on the floor. Okay, so once you made this double layered, you're gonna go ahead and, and um, add a floor to this. Now, do not make this double layered. You're gonna make this just one layered, like so. And basically, you're gonna go ahead and add hoppers. Um, you're gonna make sure it's facing the floor. You're gonna make sure on the bottom is facing the floor you don't want it to fa be facing a wall or another hopper so basically just do this all the way around make sure all the hoppers um, the bottom is touching the floor so let's go ahead and do this real quick I believe this is 45 hoppers that you'll need uh, to do uh, this part right here and so once you have done that you're going to want to go ahead and get rid of um, this floor because underneath the hoppers, we are going to want to add chests. Um, so you can collect the stuff. So let's go ahead and get rid of um, the bottom here. Now for you guys, I know that this is going to take a little bit longer because you'll, you'll be flying. Um, if you can't afford mushrooms, uh, magical mushroom soup in this project, it's going to be a lot more difficult for you guys. Okay, so once we have done that, you're going to, you're going to want to go ahead and get some water buckets. Actually, uh, we don't want to do that yet. We'll, <clears throat> we'll place the minions after that. So, now this is pretty different for <clears throat> how people want this to look. The uh, and the chest uh, system. I do it one way. Pretty basic. Um, I just add one level of uh, chest. Some people have like a big thing going all the way to the floor. So they can have their grinder going for days without them having to collect it. But I like to collect my stuff every time I make like... It's a couple stacks in each chest, just so I know what I'm working with, how much I need for the next like minion upgrade and whatnot. So let's go ahead and uh, fill all this up with the chest. Make sure they are connected to the hoppers, so the magma cream can go from the hoppers to the chest. So let's go and fill this up real quick, and then I'll, get, I'll be right back. Okay, so a little bit of change. I filled all this up with chest. I put this little platform here uh, for you guys, assuming that your island is somewhere off over here. So you can come down here, collect all your stuff, and now on to one of the last steps. Okay, so this part um, can be pretty difficult. Um, so basically, we're going to go ahead and pretty much uh, fill this in right here. We're not going to fill this in, but we're going to make like a little flooring to the top area up here. So let's go ahead and do this. And then we're going to come down here and get some water buckets, and you're going to place water along the roof all the way across 
make sure it is uh, the water is going to the bottom you don't want to miss any of these blocks or then it won't work properly and then I believe I touched everything um, there okay and now we're gonna go ahead and break the roof right here okay so I broke that right there where the wood was so basically why we have this little pool of water is when the um, cube, uh, magma cubes come in here they fall in here and then they drown and then all their stuff uh, they drown they die all their stuff goes into hoppers which go into the chest alrighty so now on to the final step so I'm going to act as this fence is a minion so basically I would place your minions here here and here and also on this side uh, that's the best way that I found that these guys work so you want to place your minions first before you place the water you're gonna place water along this side and that side you gonna place it first because if you place the water and then it gets kind of annoying when you come in here and place the minions while there's water running so you're gonna make sure that you um, go ahead and place uh, your minions first before the water okay so I'm gonna go ahead and break these blocks um, so make sure you have placed your minions right there here and there want to break them because minions the water goes through or the water goes through the minions but not the, uh, the fence so you're gonna want to go ahead and place water all the way along this wall and so the minions will spawn in they will get um, they'll start going towards the sand blocks they'll slow down get bigger they'll fall into this pool of water or this water uh, this little like pool of water uh, they'll drown they'll die all their stuff go into the hoppers which will then go into the chest for you to the uh, for you to collect uh, let me fix that you want to do the same thing on this side so like I said uh, your minions will go there there and there uh, I'm gonna go and get rid of them since uh, the water will go through the minions, but not uh, my example. So this is pretty much it right here. Pretty simple way to create an efficient magma cube grinder. You can change it up. You don't have to. Ha you don't have to use these blocks. Um, now this grinder holds about six minions. Um, I believe you can make it more than just the six. That's what I've been using anyway. Um, but yeah, I currently have six level six minions, so my grinder is definitely doing well. Um, but yeah, this is what I did for my Hypixel Skyblock Magma Cube Grinder, and I um, just want to show you guys the way how I did it. There are many ways on <clears throat> on YouTube to make this, but this is just my most efficient way and easiest way of doing it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, here's a little more in depth look at it. You can add a roof; uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I know the one that I created for you guys is a bit bigger with the soul sand. You don't have to make this um, such a like a uh, small area. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and if this helped it helped you out and you're making a lot of money off of this, please smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, on our way to 2.7k subs, almost there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, join my Discord server. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.